First, I want to thank Keith at Insane Apparel for providing us with these photos of his actual screen printed color separations coming out of Simple Seps Raster. Now, really, what we've got going on here is a mix. And when you're dealing with Simple Seps Raster and Corel Draw, you're really dealing with an entirely different style of workflow than you're used to working with the automated separation processors in Photoshop and the standalones. And the reason being is because, as I've shown you in some of the tutorials for Simple Seps Raster, we can separate specific objects and then mix those with vectors. So we're not going to be dealing with having to work within the limitations of the color palettes or the colors that the automated separators are working with. If you have a color in your design that the automated color separator or automated actions that are running in Photoshop don't have in their color pulls, it's always going to give you back a blend. And that's very often where you're going to have problems. And that's why we've seen that with these automated separators, people tend to have issues with them and you have to go back and do a lot of tweaking but I want to explain this just so we understand that these separations are really a mix of vector and raster coming out of simple steps raster and Corel draw and Corel's vector take a look at this here we got the bigger golden deal and I know that Keith had a big client here thousand prints and he was having issues with the purple coming out of one of the automated separators working through actions in Photoshop and the reason being it probably didn't have that purple set up as a pull. Now we know in Simple Steps Raster the soon coming version we could actually just pull that color out so we don't have to always have a blend. We're not going to be limited to the 10 or 9 or 12 colors that these separators use. We'll be totally unlimited in the colors that we can separate through the click steps functionality. But I want to take a look at this. Now what we got from the client was this which is a pretty bag bad JPEG image. I mean this Coke bottle and the spicy beef hot pocket here was definitely in pretty bad condition. So we did do some cleanup with that. Only took us a few minutes. And then what we did is we went in and we vector trace this. We power trace this and draw. And what I did then is that we went and we took just the hot pocket and the soda bottle, vector traced around that very quickly and easily and separated that through Simple Steps Raster. So now we have the solid color control of the vector here. I want to go ahead and ungroup and you can see this. This is vector from a power trace. We have that mixed in with our high-end separations from Simple Steps Raster. And here we can see our monochromes and our different colors. So we've got our photographic rea real realistic looking color separations using all these different colors being put together with monochrome then mixed with vector. An entirely new level of capability relating to doing separations and color management and things like that working with a mix of vector and raster at the same time. And then we can see our print over here. Now the client was very happy thousand shirt order and that's really a good scenario. You've got a big client that's happy about their print whereas previously Keith was struggling with some of the blends coming out of one of the other automated systems. Now let's take a look at this. Same thing with this truck. Client supplies a vector logo with some raster or a bitmap in it. Well, all we need to do is separate just the bitmap and keep our vector intact. So if our color separation automation is not pulling this color as a solid color, it's not going to be important because we can continue to work with it as a vector job or a vector object in CorelDRAW and just keep that as a solid color and then separate just the colors in the truck. And we can take a look at this here got our black here, here's our white, and we use the maroon from the actual maroon that's in the design for the lights and some of the shading and highlighting, etc. Go ahead and hit Control Z here and we'll put that back together and then we can see our actual print right here. And it's set up with your black, your white, and you can see some of this maroon there that's down here in this light and a few other locations in the actual vehicle, but we kept the vector here, allowing Keith to get the best possible quality print without having to run everything through a raster separator, only separating where he needed to relating to this project for raster. So as I said, I want to thank Keith for providing us with these samples and photos. And I just wanted to clarify this so that if by chance you run something through the separators and you're having an issue, you'll realize that if you've got stuff in vector, you don't have to run that through the separator. And I don't want you to think that the entire prints came from Simple Steps Raster. No, we mixed vector with raster, giving us the flexibility, as I said, of working with spot colors in raster and also working with the spot colors coming out of Simple Steps Raster, providing us with better separations for better prints and, as Keith has said, 
a happier client or customer. I'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next session.